All right, YouTube, what is going on? It is Conflict Nerd Cam here today, bringing you another Force of Nature video. Let's go ahead and continue on with our quests. So we managed to complete the last quest, which we were doing at the end of the last episode, which was to go ahead and create 20 coal, which was very easy to do. It just did take a little bit of time. We've now got a new quest, which we need to go ahead and create a blast furnace, which is what I predicted, and also an iron ignit. So that shouldn't be too difficult to do, I don't think. So we come in here to our building. We'll go ahead and grab the blast furnace. It looks like we need some more stone for this, unfortunately. So we need to go ahead and get stone. And we know where we do get stone over here at our iron rock. So we'll go ahead. It looks like there's a banana on the floor tucked under there as well, which we'll go ahead and grab. And I found that bananas are probably actually the best source of stamina. They regenerate stamina so, so, so quickly. And especially when you're resource gathering like we are right now, you can just see the stamina bar is plummeting extremely quickly. So definitely want to go ahead and get some banana trees planted. Also, coconuts seem to do that quite well as well. Apples are good, but they're better for going ahead and regenerating health, not stamina. So I want to go ahead and plant all of this in seed beds, which we'll eventually do. But again, we need to probably get to about level 4 or 5 so we can get to that stage. Right now, I still believe we're level 2, I think. We're just about level 3. We'll definitely get to level 4 this episode, though. And hopefully we'll start to get some animals as well, because that is something that really, really interests me. So first of all, I'd like to say thank you to all the wonderful feedback, I guess, on the first episode. It went down extremely well. I'm glad that people are interested in this game. I definitely am. And I'm sure this game has got lots of possibilities and lots of different quests, action and adventure that we can go ahead and find out from as we go on. Let's go ahead and check. So now we have the required 20 stone, which is good. Again, I'm just going to go ahead and fill my stamina up with eating some bananas. At the same time though, if you stand still, your stamina will also regen a little bit faster as well, which is also a good thing. Anyway, let's go ahead and get this blast furnace underway. So let's go ahead and create this. Where are we gonna build it? Well, we're gonna go ahead and build it round about here. I need to go ahead and I guess rotate this item. So how do I do that? Rotate your character, press space. Right, okay, so it's with the turn wheel. So there we go. So I'm just gonna go ahead and place it here. The good thing is you can actually go ahead and move all this stuff at a later stage. So for example, if I click on this coal smoker, I can go ahead and actually move it, which will be handy when we go ahead and I guess set up a proper camp. One thing I do want to do is get a crafting table so we can start making fences, because that'll definitely just enclose everything and make it look a little bit more like home. As you can see here, we've got lots of different things we're about to unlock and a crafting table is one of them and that will become extremely useful. Anyway, let's go ahead and see what else we need to do. So, we're creating this blast furnace and we're going to need an iron ignit. So for that, I guess we're going to need to use the blast furnace, which we're going to have to wait for that created. I'm guessing though we're going to need some iron, which do we have iron? That is the next question. So we do have 10 iron ore, which is good, and we have plenty of coal as well, so I think we're totally fine. One thing I do want to do though is go ahead and start putting some more, I guess I want more glowing embers. So I need to go ahead and add more sticks to the fire, which we'll start to do. Now the reason for this is because glowing embers are required in our coal smoker to go ahead and create coal and I can imagine we're going to be creating a lot of coal as time goes on. So I'm just going to go ahead and just get some more embers onto the fire and some more coal coming out the coal smoker just for the future because I can I can just sort of predict at what we are going to need going forward. Anyway that is the blast furnace created so let's go ahead and see what recipes we can go ahead and create and we need to create an iron ignit. So for that we need 3 glowing embers, which of course I just went ahead and used them all up. Interestingly though, we do need a steel melting pot, or just a normal melting pot, so we need to go ahead and create one of them before we can go ahead and create our iron ignit. So I've closed out of that and I've managed to get myself some more embers from the fire, which is good, so let's go ahead and see what we can do here. So again, I'm not really at all sure how we're going to get this melting pot, that's us I guess got the correct amount of ingredients. So tip on ingredients here, so can be crafted in the following building, an anvil. So we need to go ahead and create an anvil to go ahead and give us a melting pot. Can be crafted with a bonfire, it looks like a melting pot. So that's what I'm missing there. So run over here to the bonfire. Now, unfortunately, it's got all this embers going on, but I'll just go ahead and cancel that. I don't really lose much, to be honest. Let's go ahead and create a melting pot here, which just requires some clay. So very quickly go ahead and create one of those, and then we can go ahead and create our ingots, which will be used again just for more powerful resource acquiring tools, such as like hammers, spades, pickaxes. It'll also be used for armor though, because as you can see up here with character, we do have armor slots, so hats, armor, pants, boots, gloves, 
ammunition. Not really at all sure what that is actually, if that's going to be like a bow and arrow. I've not really got that far in the game on my off camera save yet, so it'll be interesting to see what that is. Anyway, that is the melting pots. So we'll go ahead and grab this. We'll return back over to the blast furnace and we should be able to make our iron ingot now. So let's go ahead and create that. Select our melting pot as our tool to aid. And then we're going to go ahead and create two of them because why not? So again, that's going to take its while to happen. What I'm going to do is I've cleared a lot of this out actually, unfortunately. And it's sort of because I just needed resources. But hopefully over time we'll go ahead and replant some of this. I do... And it's mainly going to be plantations. It's not going to be natural growth like this going forward. Plantations and seed beds is going to be the thing. I also went ahead and just sort of extended the beach. So as you can see the map here, we have this section over here, which is quite nice. It's got some long grass. It's also got lots of ferns. It's got another rabbit. Got some more food here, which is very useful to me. Strawberries are a very good food source. Might as well take that stick as well. So I'm just going to continue to pick stuff up here and also extend it through here. I chopped through here so I can imagine we're about to go into combat in a second. So there are one or two goblins but I just wanted to, I guess, extend my beach area and just go ahead and extend the map. So let's see what is actually up here. I want to see if there's like maybe any... I'm not really at all sure. I just want something different, I guess. So there's a, there's a boar over there actually which looks like it's coming to attack me. So this is what I meant by different. So... We'll go ahead and try kill this. This has got a much higher health than a goblin's. It is the same level, but can we kill it? And we have managed to kill it. So from that looks like we've got some meat in some form of hide, it looks like. So we've got a pelt, we've got two fangs, and we've also got some meat. So that meat might be a good food source. That's the reason I wanted to come along here to just see what there was to offer. Looks like there's another boar over there as well. We'll go ahead and eat an apple just to be safe. Although, unfortunately, that must have a big proximity. It's on to us as well, so hopefully we can go ahead and kill two of these. However, they can run off, I'm pretty sure. But managed to kill that one, no problem there, so that's just got even more meat. What I am interested in here, though, is... There's lots of different kinds of mushrooms on the floors, a few coconut trees. This is a very, very useful area, which I'm sure we can get lots out of. What I was going to do before that boar rudely interrupted me is... I want to go ahead and pick up the mushrooms at my feet here, so there's lots of different uh, garlic and also different kind of sep as well so we'll go ahead and pick some of this up and we'll leave it there for now and we'll return back to our main base camp so as you can see we've extended our map quite a lot and you can see lots of red dots to the north there that is just loads of goblins which i just want to go ahead and kind of avoid for now we will clear all this out eventually but for the time being we just need to go ahead and focus on doing some quests and i guess just getting to grips with this game so we'll go ahead and return over here. Looks like there is maybe even more. Oh, this is coffee, actually. Coffee will still be very useful as well as we go on. So let's go ahead and check out our iron ingots. So let's go ahead and jump into here and take all. Has anything else got anything to offer? So bonfire, we should probably go ahead and create some more glowing embers for the time being. So we'll just go ahead and create like 15. And I guess the coal smoker, that's going to take quite a while, but it does have some coal to offer us as well. We can go ahead and create torches actually and that's something that I'm going to do. So if I jump in here to crafting or building, sorry, we've got construction but we also have decoration and this is where all our fences are. We can go ahead and create torches. So I just want to create some of these large torches I guess just to help light up the area. So we'll go ahead and just basically put them at all the corners of this area. So not enough resources unfortunately. So we've created one there so that should go help and just lighten up this area better in general and I want to eventually have these littered all over the forest unfortunately or they might be indicated on the map actually but it'll be useful anyway because this is basically where the main camp's going to be this very open area here anyway next quest get a new level we should be able to go ahead and get this new level without any problems so we completed all the requirements which is good and all the quests so that is us now at level four so for this next one, it's Tame the Animals, and this is the quest I was actually looking forward to, because it is actually extremely frustrating. So we need to go ahead and create an anvil, and from that, create 10 nails. Along with that, we need to go ahead and build a hut of branches, and we also need to go ahead and create a crafting table, which again, gives us many more items to craft. So where do we start? Let's start in construction, let's start a hut of branches, and I need more rope, and I also need a lot more sticks as well, so we'll go ahead and acquire that stuff over time. For our anvil, we can go ahead and create that straight away, so we might as well go ahead and build that now and get that started. 
that again will take a while to create. So while I wait on that, I'm just going to go ahead and I guess chop down some more of these palm trees to get myself some food and some palm leaves. So that anvil has now gone ahead and created itself. As you can see, this torch is actually really helping out, so I definitely want to go ahead and create more of them as time goes on. So let's go ahead and create 10 nails, which I need a lot of different things for. So I need another iron ingot, which I believe we went ahead and used up both ingots. So we definitely need to go ahead and mine some more iron ore. Along with that, we need to go ahead and create a hammer and some wooden tongs, which I know how to do that, and we can probably do that right now. So wooden tongs, we can go ahead and create one of those. That shouldn't take too long. A hammer is going to be a little bit more difficult because we do need, I just need a lot of sticks to be honest. I only have 11 and right now I probably need the best part of about 50 or 60. So someone was asking actually in the previous video, why do you not get sticks out of trees? And I would agree with that. That's a bit strange, but instead you get sticks out of bushes. You don't get them off trees, which I guess it depends what kind of tree. Uh, and it depends what kind of bush as well actually go ahead and cut because some actually give fruit as well Because you do get like oranges not that there's any around here, but you can in other parts of the map Right, so I've gone ahead and gathered some resources so we can hopefully go ahead and complete a lot of these tasks now So I can go ahead and create 10 nails not quite so I need to go ahead and get a hammer on the go Stone hammer I can go ahead and create one of these so we'll very quickly go ahead and do so Not enough free space because I have to go ahead and create a lot of rope because about what we're going to go ahead and build. So while we wait on that, we can possibly go ahead and construct our hut of branches, which we can go ahead and do. So this is quite a big structure, actually, as you can see. And I think we're going to go ahead and place it probably about there beside the furnace. So if we go ahead and drop that down there, then that's going to take a while to go ahead and build. But you can't actually build a crafting table out in the open. You need to go ahead and build it inside a hut. Same with a chest and a few other items, so that's why it's important to go ahead and sort of get like a few huts on the go, or maybe a house. Not everything can just be open, out in the open to the elements. Understandably, a bonfire should be going out at this stage, which is kind of strange. Blast furnace is fine, coal smoker is fine, anvil maybe, maybe not. It really depends on how you think of how an anvil is used. It could start to, I guess, erode away, but... I think it will be fine in this game, so I don't think that this game is really that advanced. Anyway, so that hammer now should be hopefully created, so if we very quickly jump into here, go ahead and sink the item, and then let's go back over to the anvil. Let's go ahead and jump into recipes. Let's go ahead and create some nails, and nails will be used for various things, to be honest. They will be used for going ahead and building more structures, and they can also be attached to weapons, I believe, as well, which will be kind of cool. So once that is done, I don't really know what else we need to do. So we've done the anvil quest, and then we've also, I believe, done the... We just need to create that crafting table, which I can imagine we're going to require a lot of wood for. I do have a lot of wood, and we also have nails, which I'm pretty sure is used for that as well. So after that, I think we'll be good, to be honest. I think we should be able to get the next level quite quickly. On top of that, though, you sometimes need to go ahead and do some other stuff. So we need to tame an animal, which that'll happen here. And for that, we'll need a lot of rope. For that, we'll need a lot of palm leaves, so you can just tell there's often lots and lots of things to do. Anyway, so that is 10 nails produced, so that is one of the quests complete, which is good. How are we doing over here with our hut of branches? So you're at 69%, lol. So we'll just have to wait a little bit for that. In the meantime, though, it looks like our iron rock, while I was going ahead and obtaining some iron ore, it basically looks like it's about to deplete. So there are other iron rocks which I have gone to, which are further to the north, I guess, but those are closer to goblins. So I don't think there'll probably be any way to go ahead and, like, a rock like iron, it it's a resource that depletes over time, to be honest. It's not one of these ones which you can exactly plant and regrow. Like, ore doesn't work like that, so it looks like in the future we might have to travel quite a bit to go ahead and get different kinds of ores, which is kind of a shame. However, as time goes on, we'll go ahead and get better transportation, I guess. we will be able to move faster as we get better shoes. So, it will not be a bad thing. Anyway, this is our hut of branches, which looks kind of nice, to be honest, actually. What I need to go ahead and do is now go ahead and create a table. So, if we jump back in here to B, construction, craft table. So, it looks like we need planks and we also need more nails. So, we have more nails available, but we need to go ahead and create planks, and planks are quite easy to make. You just simply go ahead and craft these. So, we'll go ahead and create 30 of those. Those will take a wee while to work on. Then, we'll go ahead and run over here and we'll very quickly go ahead and get the remaining nails. So, with that done for the time being, it is dark, so it's not exactly very easy to see. But I'm just going to go ahead and probably clear this whole section out, to be honest. 
There's lots of trees here with bananas and coconuts as well. And that's something that I feel I'm really struggling with right now is trying to get some food. Food is... I'm getting some, but then I'm using it again very, very quickly just because I'm going around getting so many resources off the ground just because I need to go ahead and create so much stuff for different quests. I'm just using food at a really fast rate, so I constantly need to go ahead and get more food. So that's why probably this whole front section of the map is probably just going to disappear over time. So I believe that we now have enough items to go ahead and create ourselves our crafting table, so we'll go ahead and take all those planks. Let's go ahead and jump in here back into our construction tab and let's go ahead and get ourselves a table. So again the table has to go in the hut so we'll go ahead and place that in there. That'll take a wee while to go ahead and build as usual but then that will give us lots of different things to go ahead and build. So on top of what we're working on right now I know that something with animals is going to be next. For that we'll need nets and to get nets we need palm leaves which we have been gathering. We need to go ahead and create, I guess, nets with ropes. So after these planks are done, I'm going to go ahead and get the ropes on the go. And then we should be able to go straight on to the animal taming quest. Now for this, animals, there's different kinds of animals which we can go ahead and tame. It looks like the bunny has actually gone into the hut there, which is kind of ironic. But bunnies, you can't actually go ahead and hunt down in this game, I believe, at this early stage anyway. I'll have to go north, back into the woods, and there was sheep, there was chickens, there was hens, that sort of stuff. There was also a cow we seen in the last episode too, so there's a variety of different animals which we can go ahead and kill, and or trap, which we can go ahead and use to give ourselves food resources. Anyway, that is that crafting table built, so we can go ahead and see what the crafting table has to offer. So different recipes, it just has a lot more to offer than basically your normal craft from sea. So going ahead and just looking at everything, it has like your rope, your planks, which you can have made in your inventory. But it's also got the stuff like traps, which we're going to go ahead and use. So for that we need a knife. So how do we create a knife? Well quite simply it will be in here somewhere. So another stone knife, we can go ahead and very quickly create another one of those. With that now we'll go ahead and probably use a crafting table because this is just the default crafting stuff which we can go ahead and create which is not a lot compared to the crafting table because it is a much more advanced list as you can see by this here. So with that done we should hopefully be able to go ahead and create much more rope. The crafting table also creates things much faster as well I believe. It takes a short time duration of 2 seconds whereas if I was crafting using the C button it would take 4 seconds. So we'll go ahead and use probably the stone knife to go ahead and create ourselves some rope. And we're going to create a lot of rope, like 25 rope, because we are going to require a lot of traps. That is me assuming that is the next quest, which is the next quest. We need to go ahead and create 15 traps, which is the number that I will need. And I don't even know if I'll be able to trap any animal with that amount, because it's actually really, really difficult to go ahead and trap animals in this game. I don't think it's a very good way, and you'll see when I go out hunting in a second. So before we go ahead and hunt down some animals or tame some animals, I guess you could say, I want to go ahead and create an enclosed area so when I bring them back here they're not just going to free roam. So for this we're going to go ahead and we're going to select build and we're going to go into decorations. This is what I need here. So we need different kinds of fences and also need a fence gate as well. So I want one of these. For this we're going to need more nails and more planks which will be quite easy to get. And then for normal fences we just need planks and nails as well, just not as many. So I'm going to have to go ahead and I guess creating many more iron ignits and going ahead and using the anvil to create much more nails. So if I go ahead and here and jump in nails, I don't have any more ingots unfortunately. So we need to go ahead and jump over to the blast furnace, recipes, iron ignots and then we need to go ahead and get some of them on the go. Along with that we need to go ahead and get some more woods and planks. So for that I can simply go ahead and jump back into here, take all, create some more planks. We just need to create as many as we possibly can to be honest, which we can create plenty because we have 21 logs right now. So here we have it, here we have our first enclosed area. So it's not exactly very advanced but it will do. So let's go ahead and just use gate here and it's quite simple. I should be able to hold a chicken or maybe one cow in here. As we get more resources we'll go ahead and extend it obviously. But I don't really have much. I need to go ahead and get a lot more iron. Unfortunately our iron rock over here are just totally depleted. So when we're on our travels going ahead and trying to tame animals we'll need to go ahead and get some iron. 
So for going ahead and taming, we'll need to get ourselves some nets, which we do have, which is good. So we have 20 nets in our inventory, so we'll very quickly just go ahead and move these onto our hotbar. And we'll go ahead and I guess use these when we find animals. So our current quest is to tame animals. We've got the choice of a pig, a cow, a goat, a chicken, a rooster or a sheep. And they all have different advantages. So we'll go ahead and we'll make our way into the jungle i guess you could say right now so let's head back north and i know from the last episode we did see a few animals they get to free roam though in a sense so they'll get to just walk around how they like and we also need to watch out for goblins as well i should have cleared most of the goblins out of this area by now to be honest and if we check the map there's not really any goblins in that close proximity but there's plenty of animals here which we can go ahead and hopefully capture so we're going to use our net here, and this is the bad part, this is the part I don't like. You have to use this here, and you have to sort of align your crosshair perfectly with where the rooster is here. So let's go ahead and try grab you, and it didn't unfortunately get you. So that is that rooster, I guess, is just going to run off now, and it's going to be difficult. So you probably go ahead and try and find a different animal to go ahead and try and tame. So we'll very quickly go ahead here and grab... Hopefully this chicken here, but unfortunately got away as well. So you can literally see the tiniest margins make the biggest difference. We've also got a goblin onto us as well. So I guess I just need to keep watch out for goblins. As we move around, of course, goblins move around too, so they might end up coming into the area that I'm in. So there's some ore over there. It looks like tin ore up at the top of our screen. There's a rabbit, but there's also a chicken here which we want to go ahead and try get. So again, we'll try and use another trap, and we'll go ahead and see if we can capture you. Which we failed again. Jesus, this is going to take a while. So we're over here now. There's actually a fox in front of us, and there's also maybe a ruby rock here as well. So I think we're quite far up, actually. This is an area which I haven't really cleared out yet. Again, though, there is this chicken moving around, so I'm going to go ahead and see if I can get it. I've missed it there, I can guarantee. I missed it really badly there, actually. Let's go ahead and see if we can get you now. That should be a catch. No... This is what I don't like, and this is why it's just a bit, I just feel the system's a bit silly right now, to be honest. It's not exactly the most realistic, I also feel it's not the most effective, it really doesn't work. We do get coins from goblins, so which I can't complain, and there's also a sheep over here, so let's see if we can try grab the sheep. So let's go ahead and do a long throw, and that didn't work, let's see if we can do that a little, a little better. Oh, we're so close to getting that sheep there, there's another boat over there as well, which we need to watch out for. Let's see if we can get this chicken. They keep moving at the last second and that's the worst thing. You need to get it like perfectly on the green line and you need to be perfectly still. Looks like we've got to go ahead and kill two more goblins and I can't wait to start to upgrade armor honestly because that's going to help out so much. We're losing quite a bit of health here but I'm sure we'll be fine. As long as I don't have... I can handle two things attacking me at once. It's, if it's any more than that then it's just a bit of a, just a, bit of a gangbang to be honest. It's not going to end well. So again, I'm just going to continue pretty much to clear out this area and try and capture myself a trapped animal. Alright, so we managed to catch one, however, there's also a fox right beside us. So it looks like it's probably going to get away, and I could die to this fox. The foxes are actually kind of powerful, they're probably the most powerful thing we've come across there, and the fox runs away. Unfortunately, oh my, what is that? That's a bear, jeez, we don't want to go around there. Unfortunately, there's a goat and a pig here, though, and we did manage to catch that chicken, but... Like, that's me down to two traps, down to two traps, so, and you can just see, like, the smallest of margins is to literally go ahead and trap an animal. It's just, uh, it's, that's one thing I wish they would improve about this game, is that I've gone through so many traps, feeling that I've near enough caught the animal, and I think I have, and then, of course, it gets away, and, of course, that time I did manage to catch it, there was a wolf or a fox there. That's one thing you do need to worry about as well though, as soon as you actually capture the animal then you need to go ahead and tame it within like 5 seconds or you'll lose it and I just I had to deal with the fox there or I probably would have died. Alright, last trap, here goes. Oh, I didn't get it for God's sake. Right, so with that I'm going to have to very quickly return back to base. Probably need to get myself some more food as well. I've ended up exploring so much of this forest which is probably a good thing. And I've killed lots of boars or whatever they are. I don't even know if they are boars, to be honest. Could be just kinds of pigs. But I've got, like, so much meat. I've got six pieces of meat and I've got lots of of their pet as well, which is very good. So I'm sure that'll come in handy eventually. Though we really need to go ahead and try to tame an animal first. 
So what I'm going to do to hopefully make this easier food wise, I'm going to go ahead and fry some meat. So this can heal quite a lot of health. It does take quite a while, but it does heal 25 health. Whereas the best healing food I have right now, I believe is apples. And that only heals 10 every 10 seconds. So fried meat will definitely be good use going forward. Not going to cook all of it though, but it'll definitely help me out. Earlier on I went ahead and actually got some more traps ready anyway, so if I jump in here to the crafting table there should be some waiting for me. Doesn't look like there is unfortunately, however we can go ahead and very easily make some more, which I'm going to need quite a lot of. Right, there we go, it looks like I've managed to tame this, so I'll go ahead and take the chicken and then we can go ahead and select follow me. So that's me finally managed to tame an animal, which is good, so this chicken should now start to follow me back, hopefully. Yep, slowly but surely. So we need to make our way back, and that's going to be some challenge, because I've come quite a long way. That took way too long. It was like the second trap, though, of this trip, which wasn't too bad, but it would have been better if it was on the first trip, that's for sure. Anyway, I need to make sure as I go back I don't come across any goblins or foxes or something that will attack me, because I don't want to lose my chicken. Chicken will give me eggs, which... Oh shit, that goblin. It's quite a bit away, to be fair. I need to give this chicken a name actually, I think I'm going to name it, going to name it Dory, Dory the chicken, so hello Dory, uh, we need to get you back to safety first of all though Dory, so you can start giving me eggs, so the route back is, all this forest looks the same honestly, it's so difficult to navigate through, but as long as you're following me Dory, we'll be safe together, so if you come through this gap here, Yep, well done, and then we're gonna go around this tree here, and we're slowly, this is gonna take too, way too long, this is gonna take ages. Alright, so after another like three days, we're finally back here, so Dory, I need you to come into here please. Don't get stuck on the gate, don't get stuck on the gate, you're good, you're good, so just come a little bit closer, a little bit closer. Nope, do you not want to come any closer? Just come closer, come on, move! Dory, you're one lazy chicken. I just need to get you to budge up a little, so go through the gate. Are you caught in the gate, maybe? Right, there we go. So if you go ahead and follow me in now. Yep, there we go. That's perfect. Keep coming, keep coming. This is like a truck, backing in a truck. Now if we go ahead and speak with the chicken. No, 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 no. What happened there? What the heck? So we need to get you back into here, so if you slowly start to come towards me again. Yep, come through the gap, that's wonderful. Now we need to go ahead and interact with the chicken, and now we need to tell it to wait here. Interestingly, we need to go ahead and feed it again as well soon. Can I get out without kicking you out? No, I can't, God's sake. Right, I'm gonna have to make a bigger, I'm gonna need to make a bigger pen, that's the bottom line. I need to make a bigger pen, so for that we need to go ahead and craft or build actually, sorry, so let's go ahead and get some fences. Now the good thing is we can go ahead and move stuff around, so that's what we're going to start off with actually. So we go ahead and move stuff, so we're going to move you, now we're going to go ahead and rotate you first of all, like so, then we're going to go ahead and move you, and then we're going to move you to about there I think, and then we need to go ahead and start to move a few, we need, to, we need two more fences, that's what we need, which should be quite easy to create, so if we go ahead and jump in here to decoration fences, we need more nails unfortunately. Alright, so it looks like I'm going to have to go away and adventure into the forest unfortunately, to go ahead and find some more iron to go ahead and create some more nails, so I'm going to have to leave you to it Dory, so make sure nothing happens, and Dory you better be here when I get back. Interestingly I actually should probably go ahead and try feed Dory, but I need water and we don't have a well yet, so I can't really go ahead and do that. So I'm sure Dory you'll be fine, just stay there. Anyway, I'm very quickly going to run back into the woods and hopefully try and come across some iron. I didn't really see any, I've seen some tin and also seen some what I thought was ruby, though I'm not 100% sure what it was, so I need to go ahead and just get some more ore to make some more nails. Hey Dory, I am back, and you're still here, which is good. So, I didn't manage to get any iron, unfortunately, but we should be able to go ahead and, I guess, create some bronze, because I do have copper and I also have tin. I don't know what other ways there are to make nails, so we've very quickly just run over here to the anvil, and recipes, nails. Can I go ahead and use, I can use a, I can use a copper ingot, so I'll go ahead and, I guess, create some copper bars, so we very quickly jump into here, so let's go ahead and, oh you can actually do it from coins as well, which is kind of interesting, so we could go ahead and do that, 
Unfortunately, I need some more glowing embers though, which I think I don't have, so I'll need to go ahead and very quickly get some more of them. Alright, so Dory's new home is just about ready, so we need to go ahead and speak with Dory. We need to go ahead and get Dory to follow me again, because we need to lead you ish back into the pen, so if Dory could make a move on and just hurry up a little bit. Dory really doesn't like to run, but I think if I give Dory food, then Dory will be a little bit more athletic, hopefully. Anyway, we're going to bring you into here, we're going to move you into the corner, then what I'm going to do is very quickly run over to the anvil, get the nails and go ahead and, I guess, set up the fences. So you're going to wait here, I realise you do wander a little bit, but hopefully you won't wander too much in that amount of time. So we'll grab the nails, we'll very quickly go into our crafting section, take all these planks here, then we need to go ahead and very quickly do some decoration, so fences, let's go ahead and create two of you guys, so build you there and then very quickly rotate you and build you in there, then all we need to do is hopefully just go ahead and close the gate, and I believe Dory has got a home if that extra fence creates, yes there we go, so Dory has a home, which is kind of cool, so I need to go ahead and start feeding Dory, giving Dory water and seeds, which I have seeds, but we don't have a well yet, so we'll go ahead and look at that in the next episode. I believe well, we unlock that at level 5, so it must be close to the level actually. Let's go ahead and see what else, I think I can get level actually, so that's me level 5, and that starts off lots of new quests, which one is to get an egg, which thank god we have Dory, because Dory, you should be able to give me an egg. Anyway, we'll leave all that for the next episode, so I hope you are enjoying Force of Nature so far. You got any comments on the game, or if you would like to see me do anything specific in this game, then go ahead down below and please tell me. In the next episode, we'll start planting stuff with seed beds, such as trees and bushes. Along with that, we'll hopefully go ahead and make our camp a little bit better and also get a few more animals. Anyway, with all that said, that's all for this video, so thank you very much for watching. Please leave a like rating, subscribe if you are new around here. That's all for this video, so thanks for watching. My name is Conflict Nerd Calm, and I'm out.